Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> You're going to get over here? It's great to be with you in Hong Kong. It's been six years since I was here. And since I was here last, I've heard that great, great things have happened. I've had many people give testimonies about how that the ministry has been a blessing to them. And so it's exciting to me to see how the Word of God will change people's lives, even in parts of the world that are opposite mine. And I believe that our three sessions today are going to be powerful. I know that God is going to change your life. So I want to encourage you right now to open up your heart and believe God to touch your life today. And let me explain some things about my ministry. I'm different than some other people. Many people come and it's all about the anointing of God that is on their life. But the power that God has given me is to teach God's word. It's not that there's any special anointing on my life. But God has revealed his word to me. And it's the word of God that changes people's lives. And so I want to divert your attention away from me and put it upon God's word. I'm going to leave, but God's word is going to stay with you. And I think that this is one of the big mistakes that's being made in the body of Christ. We draw people's attention towards an individual. And we think that God can only flow through that person. But it's the word of God that is going to stay with you and change your life. I've even had some people come up to me today and say, Oh, I just want to touch you and receive the anointing. <laughs> and I can guarantee you that they didn't get anything special by touching me. That is not the way that God works through me. But God speaks his word through me and his word is what changes you. Psalms 107 verse 20 says that God sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. God's word is the greatest deliverance ministry that there ever was. I had a young woman come to me last night and ask for prayer for depression. And she asked me to just pray and cast depression out of her. And I told her that there's nothing wrong with your emotions. And she looked shocked. Like, yes, I've got depression. And I said, your emotions follow what you focus your attention on. If you're depressed, it's not because you're sick. 
It's because you're focusing on the wrong thing. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. Verse 3. Verse 3. That the Lord will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon him. If you don't have peace, it's not because you've got some sickness that made you this way. It's because the word of God is not your focus. And if you would change your focus and focus on what God's word says about you, then all you will have is peace. So the answer for depression isn't prayer, but it's getting into God's word. In 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Those verses say that everything that pertains to life and godliness comes through the knowledge of God. And in the original language, that word everything means everything. In other words, there is nothing that you need in your Christian life that doesn't come through understanding the Word of God. And yet the average Christian lets the word of God lay on their table while they pray and ask God to give them things. But God's delivery system is through His words. This Bible is alive. This isn't like any other book. God is speaking directly through these words. There's an instance in Luke chapter 24. Where the disciple says, didn't his word burn within us while we talked to him in the way? And that is a perfect description of the way that the Word of God is. The Word of God is alive and it burns in my heart. And it's the Word of God that has made any difference in my life. Now I've had some special experiences with the Lord. And I have had God touch me in supernatural ways. But I can promise you that you, I wouldn't be here speaking today if, to you today if it wasn't for God's word. You can't base your life on experiences. The word of God is the foundation of the Christian life. And most Christians do not have a firm foundation in the word. And that's the reason that they have so many problems. In most of my meetings, I'll say, how many of you need to be healed? And nearly every Christian in the place will raise their hand. That's a shame. Because Jesus purchased healing for us in his atonement. Why then do so many Christians have sickness? It's because they don't meditate in the Word of God the way that they should. In Proverbs chapter 4, it says, God's Word is health unto your flesh. 
咁咧就係誒誒喺呢個誒箴言嘅四章就話咧，係神嘅話語啊，係帶嚟俾你有健康嘅。If we were eating God's word constantly, you'd be well。如果你不停食神嘅話語咧，你身體就會健康噶啦。But the average Christian uses the Bible kind of like a devotion。但好多大部分基督徒咧就話用聖經咧就正如一個叫做咩啊？叫做誒，即係每一日嘅去親近神嘅一個誒例行公事咁樣。They just take little truths out of the Bible to make them feel good。就每一次咧攞少少出嚟就覺得嗯食得誒好舒服啦，好開心啦。But most Christians do their real work in prayer。但係大部分基督徒咧就係點咧？佢哋真係好用心去讀神嘅話語同埋祈禱。They beg God to do what the Word of God is supposed to do. 咁咧，然後佢哋求神咧，就話咧，喂主啊，你俾我啦，可以你講嘅嘢我可以做到。And let me ask you, how is that working for you? 咁咧，我問你啦，點樣樣先至可以令到呢樣嘢喺你身上做出嚟咧 ？Most people are frustrated and they don't see the things that they believe God wants them to have. 咁咧，好多人咧好敏感啊，因為佢哋咧誒收唔到咧神要佢哋做嘅嘢做出嚟啊。But it's because they aren't trying to receive from God the way He planned. Because they are always using their own plan to receive God's word. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. God gave His word to us like a seed. You could be so sincere, you could cry, you could yell and scream, but if you don't plant a seed, you won't get a tomato. 你可以做好多嘢喺度呼求啊、叫啊，點都好，但係你唔擺粒種子咧，都唔會成長出嚟。Likewise, the Bible says that it is a seed. 嗱，一樣聖經都係講，喂，裏邊有個種子啊。In Mark chapter four, Jesus gave a parable about sowing seed in the ground. 馬可福音四章，耶穌講撒種嘅比喻。And there were four different types of ground that he talked about this seed falling on. He 讲紧种子撒喺唔同嘅四种土壤里边。And then he said in Mark 4:14 that the seed was talking about the word of God. 咁咧系马可四章十四节就话咧系关乎呢个种子喺呢个地土里边嘅。So God's word is compared to a physical seed. 咁咧神嘅话语咧就同一个咧实质嘅种子有一个比较。And this is a great comparison. This is a very great comparison. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. Because this whole world that God created operates off seeds. You and I came from seeds. 你同我都系有种子嘅缘故。Do you use that term over here, the seed of a man? 佢问我哋用唔用？人都有个种子啊，根咯，嗬。我哋讲 ，yeah, root. You do. Maybe say root. 根啊，我哋系我哋嘅根喺边系嘛？系咪咁啊 ？Well, I'm saying seed, not root. 种子 ，root. 是但啦，唔紧要啦 ，doesn't matter. It's the same meanings, different words. Chinese are very rich, you know. But it does matter. He was 真系紧要 ，okay. Because in the Bible, in First Peter one twenty-three. 咁咧就彼得前书一章 thirty-three. First, first, first Peter one twenty-three. 哦，二十三节 ，okay. Okay. Did you get it? Yeah. 彼得前书一章二十三节 ，yes. That verse says you are born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed, the Word of God that lives and abides forever. 咁咧，佢就话我哋重生咧，系透过一个不可被咧腐朽嘅种子，而咧就系透过咧喺神里边嘅话语活出嚟嘅。And the root word in the Greek is talking about sperm. 咁咧就系 word 啊。Do you understand? 种子啊。Oh, Jing Zi. Okay, say again. Sorry, you have to repeat. Sorry. Okay. So the root word in the Greek for seed means sperm. Oh, 咁咧就系喺希腊文咧种子咧呢个词咧就等于咧精子啊，即系男人嘅精子嗰个精子。So I'm not going to teach on this. 
But I assume that it works the same here as it does in the United States. You don't go to the store and buy a baby. You have to sow a seed, a sperm for a baby. Does it work the same way here? <laughs> okay, the Bible is compared to a seed or to a sperm. Life in this world doesn't exist without seeds. And the Bible says that these words are like seeds that we sow in our heart. You would think that a woman is crazy if she was praying to have children and never had a physical relationship with a man. I've actually had a lot of women come up and ask me to pray that they could have children. And I found out that some of them aren't married. <laughs> and I said, I'm not praying for you. <laughs> there was only one virgin birth and you will not be the second one. But when I pray over women so that they can have children, I then tell them you have to do your part. You go have a relationship with a man and then you will have children. But even if God heals you, you still got to plant that seed. But in the spiritual realm, people are asking for a virgin birth all of the time. They don't take the word of God and put it in their heart. They just expect for me to be able to produce their miracle. That's not how it works. That would be like a woman coming to me and wanting me to have relationship with my wife and yet she has the baby. She needs to have that seed planted in her. And when you come and ask me to give you your miracle, that's the same thing. You need to have the word planted in your heart. And if you don't plant the word of God in your heart, you are not going to give birth to your miracle. So we need to put more importance on putting God's word in our heart. Let me share this parable that Jesus taught out of Mark chapter 4 verse 26. Mark 4:26. And this is where Jesus talked about a man who just threw seed in the ground and then he go ahead. Excuse me. He just threw seed in the ground. <laughs> And then he slept and rose night and day. And the ground just brought forth fruit automatically. And first it produced just a little blade and then a stalk and then the full ear of corn. So this is a really simple parable. But it teaches a really profound truth. And the word of God is the seed that he's talking about. You have to put this seed in the ground. 
The seed is talking about the word of God. 嗱，呢个种子就等于神嘅话语啦。And the ground is talking about your heart. 嗱，呢一个土地就等于你嘅心。And the seed won't release its life until it goes into your heart. 嗱，呢个咧种子唔会有生命，除非栽种喺你嘅心土里边。Some people really reverence this book, but they miss this truth. 好多人咧就系用呢个圣经做参考，但系佢哋咧就错过咗啲嘅重点。Jesus said that His words were alive and powerful. 耶稣话佢嘅话语系生命同埋有大能。The true Bible is a living thing. 因为真理嘅圣经咧系一个活出嚟嘅圣经。These words on a page are just a representation of the true word of God. 你嘅每一版嘅字咧，就代表咧活生生神嘅话语啊。For the word of God to become reality, it has to come off of this page and be planted in your heart. 就话咧，神嘅话语活出嚟咧，就系跳出呢个咧呢张纸喺你嘅心里边活着，然后你活出嚟。I was over at a woman's house one time, and she served me tea. 有一日我去一个女士屋企咧，佢咧就系诶用茶招待我啦。And I made the mistake of setting my teacup on top of the family Bible。咁咧我做错咗样嘢，就将咧嗰个咧诶嗰个咩托住嘅杯托咧摆在圣经上边。And she nearly sucked all of the air out of that room。going。跟住突然间话吓。And she couldn't believe that I said anything on top of the Bible。佢唔够胆相信你竟然将啲嘢摆喺个圣经上边。So I removed my cup, and you could see the ring where the dust was. 跟住佢拎走嗰个杯，见到个圈，因为咧有啲尘啊嘛，见到个圈啊。She reverenced the book, but she didn't put it in her heart. 佢咧就系好多时咧用圣经，但系佢唔识得应用出嚟。And because of that, that woman was sick and had lots of problems. 咁咧就系所以，因为呢个女人又有病啊，所以好多问题啊。I can set a teacup on top of this Bible, and it doesn't bother me. 我可以将咧我杯茶咧摆喺呢本圣经上边啊，都唔会令到我觉得有咩问题。Because this is just a representation of the true word of God. 因为呢个只不过系代表神嘅真理嘅话语嘅代表啫。The true word of God is alive and powerful. 因为神真正嘅话语咧就系生命同埋大能。And when you put it in your heart, it begins to release its power. 当你将佢摆喺你嘅心。佢就會釋放出能力。So the first thing to recognize out of this parable is that the seed had to be put in the ground before anything happened. 首先你要咧就係認知個種子一定要擺喺土裏邊，啊，其他嘢先會發生噶。I've actually read that they have found seeds in the Pharaoh's tombs. 哦，法老，誒，佢咧甚至乎咧就話咧見到有種子喺法老嗰個誒墳墓嗰度揾到啊。And these seeds have been sitting dormant for four thousand years. 哇！呢个种子咧摆咗嗰个法老坟墓咧四千年咁耐啊。And not a single thing happened with those seeds. 咁嗰啲种子乜嘢都冇发生过。But they took those seeds and put them in the ground, and life came out of those seeds. 当佢哋将呢个种子摆喺个土嗰度咧，生命就活出嚟啦。But that life isn't released until the seed is put in the ground. 生命就会发散发出嚟，除非你要将佢摆喺个土壤里边啦。The true word of God is not released until you put it in your heart. 神嘅真理嘅话语咧唔会被释放出嚟，除非你栽种佢喺你嘅心土里边。I'm not talking about just putting it in your mind. 我唔系讲紧你只系咧读头脑上嘅知识嘅圣经。Now that's a part of the process. 嗱，呢个只不过过程之一吓。But the word of God has to get into your innermost being to release its power. 但系神嘅话语一定要入到你里边最深层次嘅灵里边啊。And so this man put the seed in the ground, and then he just slept night and day, rose and time passed. 咁咧呢个人咧就系哦撒咗种喺个土啦，就瞓觉起身，好多时间过去咗啦。And here's the second great thing to learn from this parable. 嗱，有第二个咧伟大事情要学习嘅话，呢个比喻里边。That it takes time for the word of God to release its power. 要时间咧，等候神嘅话语咧释放能力出嚟噶。And this is why a lot of people don't see the word of God work for them. 所以好多时咧，点解啲人话点解神嘅话语喺我生命冇作用咧？ Because they just try the word of God for a brief period of time. 因为佢哋只系尝试咧，等候好短嘅时间。Imagine what would happen if a man put a seed in the ground and then the next morning dug it up to see if anything happened. 
。咁咧，如果咧就係話突然間你想象下一個種子咧，今日就撒種，聽朝突然間咧就掛好多嘢生出嚟，你諗下會有咩嘢？嚇？掘翻個哦 ，sorry， 掘翻個種子出嚟。And if you only gave it 24 hours, nothing would have happened with that seed. 你谂下廿四个小时之内咧，其实唔会有咩嘢发生嘅。And so he re he replants the seed. 跟住佢要重新再掉落个土嗰度。And then the next morning, digs it up to see if anything has happened. 第二朝就哇，刮佢出嚟睇下有咩嘢发生过、哦。If that's the way you treat a seed, it'll never release its power. 如果你系咁样对待呢个种子咧，你永远唔会释放到个能力出嚟嘅。And you can't treat the word of God that way. 所以你唔可以咁样对待神嘅话语嘅。You have to believe that there is power in God's word. 你要相信咧，就系神嘅话语里边有能力嘅。And you just have to put it in your heart and leave it there. 你咧要做嘅咧就系将神嘅话语食咗佢，摆喺个肚里边等候。You can't believe it today and then disbelieve it tomorrow. 你可以今日信，听日都唔信。You have to believe the word of God and give it time to work. 你可以咧就话相信神嘅话语，然后咧你做嘢做到好辛苦。And many Christians just aren't willing to wait on the Lord. 咁咧好多咧基督徒唔愿意等候神噶。They're impatient and they want to see the results right now. 佢哋咧冇耐性，好想即时见到答案。But if you do that, well, then all you're going to get is what you can produce. 咁你如果你咁样做，你可以得着什么咧？就系你所产生嘅果子咯。For God's word to work in your life, you have to give it time. 你如果要神嘅话语喺你肚里边咧扎根成长，你要俾时间佢。It took a long time for our lives to be as messed up as they are. 咁所以咧就系要咧一个好长时间啊吓，即系可以令到我哋咧唔好咧乱弄到一团糟啊。Most of you have spent decades learning how to be as sick as you are. 咁咧就有啲人咧就学习咗成十年，就话咧点解我都系咁咁病嘅咧，唔好嘅咧。咁你要知道真理系咩啦，系嘛 ？You know one of the reasons that Adam lived to be nine hundred and thirty years old. 你知唔知道亚当点解活着九百岁咁长命咧 ？He didn't know how to be sick. 因为佢唔知道咩叫病。Nobody told him that there was a flu season that that you were going to get sick. 冇人话俾佢听，喂，呢而家禽流感季节喎。He didn't know that when he was thirty years old, he was over the hill. 咁咧，佢亦都唔会知道话三十八岁就系嘛，年纪嚟啦就要下降噶啦，所有嘢都身体嘅状态下降。Those people didn't even start having children until they were a hundred and thirty. 咁有啲人咧就一百三十岁都可以生仔噶嘛，系嘛？先至生仔。咁你,你,你,你,你要去点解你会知道有病咧？因为有人教你有病，所以你知道有病。And I know some of you think, no, that's not true. 咁我相信好多人就话唔系嘅，呢个唔系咁嘅。I didn't think that this sickness was going to happen to me. 我唔相信呢个病咧喺我身上发生嘅。But you were thinking wrong, and that's what allowed that sickness to happen. Because you thought wrong, so you will allow this sickness to stay in your body for so long. People think, "Well, I'm only human." 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 And I should not relate to sickness the same way that other people that don't know the Lord do. 咁咧，我唔应该咧就将呢个病咧就同嗰啲咧未信主人咧扯上关系，同佢哋一样咁样谂。And yet, if this world starts talking about that there's going to be an epidemic, 咁呢个世界就话喂有流行性嘅病。The average Christian starts operating in fear and planning on sickness, the same as people that don't know God. 咁嗰啲人咧，基督徒开始去计划咧，正如嗰啲未信主嘅人一样所做嘅嘢。But the Bible, the seed says in Psalms chapter ninety-one. 但喺诗篇九十一篇里边，圣经讲嘅呢一个种子。That no plague will come nigh my dwelling. 冇瘟疫嚟到我哋嘅门前。It says a thousand will fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not touch me. 就话一千人跌到我左边，万人跌到我右边，都冇人可以捉我，伤害到我。But how many Christians have that attitude? 有几多个基督徒真系有呢一个嘅态度咧 
They think, oh no, my neighbor is sick, and if they sneeze on me, then I'll get sick. That's not what the Bible says. There was a man named John G. Lake who pastored in Washington State. And this was back in the early 1900s. But they had a plague in his town. And this man had seen so many people healed that they actually gave him a medical license. He didn't have any medical training, but he got more people healed than the doctors did. They actually had two hospitals in his town during his days, and he closed one of them. And, and um, let's see, well, Spokane, Washington was voted the healthiest place in the United States for decades. And so because of these results, they gave him a medical license. So they had this plague and people were dying by the hundreds. And they turned a gymnasium into a uh, triage center. Do you understand triage center? They turned it into a temporary hospital where they dealt with the And these people were dying by the hundreds. So he and a medical doctor had just worked on a man who died. And as this man was dying, he coughed up some things and had it all on his mouth. And so this medical doctor spoke to John Lake and said, He said, Aren't you glad that we have a vaccination to protect us from this disease? And John looked at him and he said, Who's got a vaccination? And this man said, You couldn't be working with these sick people without a vaccination, you'll die. 他说,医生说,你跟这些人这样祈祷,你不打疫苗,你都会死埋一份。But John Lake based his faith on what Psalms 91 said. 那John Lake就是基于出于一个信心,正如诗篇91篇所讲的。The word of God wasn't just in his head, it was in his heart. 因为神的话语不只是在他的头脑里面,但是在他的心里面。and he said, no germ can touch my body and live. And of course, this medical doctor didn't believe him. So John said, I'll prove it to you. And he took one of these glass slides and wiped some of that foam off of this man's mouth onto that slide. And then they put that slide under a microscope. And you could see all of these germs moving in this microscope. And then John just stuck his finger to that spit. And instantly, everything stopped moving. Every single germ died just like the Word of God said. And that scripture wasn't just spoken to John Lake. 
God spoke that scripture to every single person in this room. If that's true, why do you fear getting sick the same as people that don't have these promises? It's because the word of God hasn't been planted in your heart and producing fruit. We have promises that aren't active because they've not been sown in our heart. The problem isn't the word of God. The Bible says it's an incorruptible seed. That means that this is never the problem. The problem is we haven't taken these words and put them in our heart. And then Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 says that the word preached to them didn't profit them because it wasn't mixed with faith. Faith is the fertilizer that makes the word of God grow. But if we would believe the word of God, you could walk totally free from sickness. And when I say that, Christians think I'm weird. But I think you're weird. Why would God give us these promises and then us not take advantage of them? Many of you expect to be sick the same as people that don't even know God. What's wrong with you? We've got these promises that no plague will come nigh our dwelling. Why don't we take advantage of this? It's because we don't believe in the Word of God the way we should. You know, I'm not a perfect example. And I don't mean to portray that to anybody. I haven't arrived, but at least I've left. That's a play on words. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, the Word of God is beginning to work in my life. And it has been 48 years since I've been sick. Wow, I don't believe in getting sick. I had some, a pastor talking to me one time about this very thing. And they said, when was the last time you were sick? And I said, 1969. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just shocked. <laughs> and they, they said, how do you do that? And I said, I don't believe in getting sick. <laughs> and it was like, well, you can't do that. And I said, well, don't criticize me because that's the way it is. And it's because I've taken the word of God and planted it in my heart. And Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 says, God's word will be health to your flesh. And you don't have to be poor. And you don't have to be depressed. 
And you don't have to be afraid of what's happening on this earth. There are seeds in God's word for every problem that you will ever face. But you've got to take these promises out of this book and put them in your heart. And most people do not know the word of God the way they should. I have many, many people come to me and ask for prayer. And I'll ask them, what scripture are you standing on for your answer to prayer? And most of them don't have any scripture. And some will say, well, isn't there some place in the Bible where it says, by his stripes we're healed? That's not good enough to just know that some place in the Bible it says this. That's like a man just standing close to a woman. She's not going to get pregnant by doing that. You have to have more contact than that to conceive a child. And you need to be more familiar with the word than just to say, well, someplace it says. Did you know I never memorized scripture? I spend zero time memorizing scripture. And yet I can quote thousands and thousands of scriptures. And the reason is because they live on the inside of me. If you ever have a scripture come alive to you, you'll never have to wonder, now what did that verse say? I could show you thousands of times in my life where I was needing God to do something for me. And a scripture came alive in my heart and once God speaks a scripture to me, I never have to try and remember it. It's just a part of me. You know, I just celebrated my 44th wedding anniversary on Thursday. And if you were to ask me, what was your wedding like? I wouldn't have to say, well, let me go get my notes and look it up and pray and I'll tell you tomorrow. I was there. I lived it. I know what it's like. We had an hour and 45 minutes of preaching and singing. And we gave an invitation at my wedding. <laughs> an invitation for people to get saved at my wedding. And we walked out with the hallelujah chorus as our recessional. And the reason I remember it is because I was there and I lived it. If you ever live the word, you'll never have to memorize the word. The reason people can't remember scripture is because they don't have it living on the inside of them. And I've had some people say, well, you just have a photographic mind. You can just remember anything. Ask my staff about this. <laughs> it is supernatural what I can forget. Oh, 
可以忘记嘅嘢都系好超自然嘅。It is not because I have a photographic memory. 唔系因为我有一个图像化嘅记忆。And these same people will say, "I just can't seem to remember scripture." 咁咧，我成日都遇到啲人话，哎呀，我成日都唔记得啲经文噶。They can tell me everything about their sports team. 但系佢哋可以将佢咧打球嘅嗰队嘅所有嘢咧都讲晒俾我听。They can tell everything about their movies and the actors. 咁咧，佢可以话俾你听，我睇紧边出戏啊？哇，嗰个主角点啊？女主角点啊？等等。I've seen some of those same games and I've seen some of the same movies, but I can't remember that stuff. 同样咧，我去过睇过嗰个比赛，睇过嗰出戏，我其他啲我全部都唔记得噶。Because that's not where my heart is. 因为我个心唔喺嗰度啊嘛。You can remember anything that you put in your heart. 你可以記得一切擺咗你心裏邊嘅嘢啊！ And if you can't remember the scripture, it's because the scripture is not in your heart. 你唔記得經文，因為經文都唔喺你嘅心裏邊啊 ！Amen or oh me? <laughs> Did they understand that? I don't know. They can laugh anyway. <laughs> And so the very first thing this man had to do was take the seed and put it in the ground. 所以咧最重要就话个人识得将呢个神嘅话语嘅种子撒落个土嗰度。You need to put the word of God in your heart. 就系将神嘅话语撒喺你嘅心土里边。Joshua chapter one verse eight. 咁咧，约书亚记一章。Says that you have to meditate in the Word of God day and night. 你要咧就将神嘅话语咧昼夜思想啊。And then you observe to do what it says. 然后你要睇下咧，即系神系要我哋做嘅系啲乜嘢。And then it gives the promise that you will be successful and you will be prosperous. 就系当你遵守神嘅话语去做嘅时候咧，你就会成功同埋咧去昌盛嘅。Everybody wants the prosperity and the success, but they don't want to meditate in the Word. They. 好多人想丰盛啊，成功，但系佢哋又唔愿意花时间默想神嘅话语。That's like a man who wants the fruit, but he doesn't want to plant a seed. 正如一个人想食嘅果子，又唔中意咧去栽种个诶种子。If you don't plant the seed, you're going to have to go to somebody else to get fruit. 你唔栽种种子结果子咧，你就要去人哋嗰度攞果子。And this is why the average person has to come to me or to a pastor to get fruit. 所以咧，普遍一般性嘅基督徒咧，就去佢面前啦，去去我面前，或者去到其他牧师面前啦。And God loves you so much, He will help you through other people who've planted the word in their heart. 咁咧，神咧好爱我哋所有人啊，佢咧系愿意咧就将即系诶其他人咧都去帮助我哋。But he never intended this to be the way your life works. 但系神从来咧冇计划呢个系你生命应该要走嘅计划。Every good minister should be preaching themselves out of a job. 咁咧就每一个咧就系事工嘅呢个牧者系需要教导啲人咧就唔好依赖佢哋。They should be teaching you the word of God, and eventually you don't need them anymore. 就系话咧，佢哋有责任教导大家，就系神嘅话语，然后你哋咧唔需要佢再帮助你去记住啦。We are just to help you get started in the Word of God。牧师只系咧帮助大家起步嗰阵时嘅啫。But you should get to a place to where you receive directly from God without somebody in between。但系你去到一个地步咧，你就需要直接咧去到神嗰度攞话语，唔系靠其他人。My wife and I were just talking about this last week. 咁咧，上個禮拜我同我太太咧就講呢樣嘢啦。And in 44 years of our ministry, we've never gone and asked anybody to pray for us. 咁咧，有四十四年嘅呢個服侍啊時間，我哋從來冇去人面前話為我哋祈禱啦。Now I'm not saying it's wrong for you to ask for prayer. 我唔係話咧，你嗌人哋為你祈禱係錯嚇，唔係咁嘅意思。But I am saying it's immature. 但我可以話俾你聽咧，你咁樣係唔成熟啊。If you are in a place that you need somebody to help you, just humble yourself and ask for prayer. 如果你真系去到个地步，你好需要人帮你为你祈祷咧，首先谦卑你自己落嚟，然后话你可唔可以为我祈祷 ？But don't stay in that position. 但唔好成日停留喺咁嘅状态。You need to be planting the word of God in your heart to where you can get your own harvest. 你需要咧将神嘅话语栽种喺你嘅心头，然后你自己去收割啊。But the average Christian today cannot get fruit from themselves. 但系大部分咧，一般嘅基督徒不能够靠过你自己直接去神嗰度咧去结果子啊
And it's because they have not planted God's word in their heart. And then the next phrase down here says that this seed just germinates and produces fruit. And it specifically says that the man who planted the seed does not understand how this happened. And this was really important to me. Because I am not the smartest man that's ever lived. My mother told me when I was a kid that I was an idiot. I found out later she was joking, but I didn't know that. I grew up thinking I was an idiot. And it really blessed me that you don't have to understand this. You just have to do it. Did you know we don't understand how a seed releases its power? You could pull all of the resources of the entire human race and they could not create a seed that will release life. They could produce something that looked exactly like a seed. It could have the exact weight. It could even taste the same as a seed. But if you put a man-made seed in the ground, it will never produce fruit. So we don't know exactly how a seed works. You don't have to understand it in order to profit from it. And likewise, you don't have to understand how the word works when you put it in your heart. You just put it in your heart and the word of God will change you. This verse says that the earth brings forth fruit of herself. If you look that phrase up in the Greek, it's translated from a Greek word, automatos. And that word is the word we get automatic from. This is saying that the ground just automatically releases the power in that seed. And when you put God's word in your heart, your heart will automatically start releasing the power in the word. This is, the, this is the power that God put in our heart. It's supernatural. It's a miracle from God. Whatever you meditate on in your heart begins to start having power over you. And this isn't only true of God's word. Whatever is in your heart in abundance will dominate you. And this is why many Christians are dominated by sickness and fear and worry. Because they're planting seeds in their heart contrary to God's word. And your heart will just instantly start making those seeds produce.
If you let words of fear in, your heart will instantly start releasing the power of fear. 如果你容许咧恐惧嘅种子临到你嘅心头咧，你嘅心头就会释放恐惧出嚟啦。If you listen to the news of this world, it'll put depression and defeat on the inside of you. 如果你听呢个嘅世界嘅新闻咧，你就将一个咧失败啊，所有嗰啲咧唔开心咧，就摆喺呢个肚里边嘅心头里边。And then you'll wonder why is it that I'm so fearful. 所以你就喺度谂，唉，唔怪得我点解咁惊惊青青啦。You know up here in your head, God said not to worry。喂，你呢一度咧唔明白，神话咧，喂，唔好惊喎。But you've been watching and listening to things that sow seeds of doubt and fear in your heart。你因为你一直睇紧、接收紧一啲咧，撒紧一啲恐惧嘅种子喺你里边啊。And whatever seed you put in the ground, that ground will release the power that's in that seed。乜嘢类型嘅种子你撒落呢个土咧，呢、这个土就会。啊！散發出咧乜嘢類型嘅能力出嚟噶啦 ？So we need to start being restrictive on what seeds we allow to come in our heart。所以我哋要點啊？識得分辨啊，去咧敵擋啲唔唔唔好嘅種子入嚟啊 ！And yet this generation of Christians is probably more exposed to the unbelief of the world than any other generation。咁咧就係呢一代嘅基督徒咧，可能咧去啊面對緊咧世界好多咧嘅資訊，係係經歷緊好多不信啊裏邊。Because of television and the internet, we are constantly being fed the unbelief of this world。因為不停呢個世界俾你好多咧啊，即係呢個互聯網嘅資訊啦，啊所有所有誒電視機等等嘅嘢，係咁喂緊我哋。We were just recently in the airport flying here. 嗱，我哋咧就喺機場誒飛過嚟嘅時候咧。And I looked around, and every single person had their phone out。咁咧，我周圍望，每個人都揸住個手提電話。And we spend hours a day letting the sewage of this world flow through our mind。我哋每一日咧，每一分每一秒用去呢啲咧，去好似啲渠嗰啲咧污糟邋遢嘅嘢淋到我哋嘅身上。And then we wonder why am I having problems？ 跟住咧，你喺度谂，唉，我就明白点解我咁多问题啦。It's because you sowed seeds in your life that are producing those problems。因为你咧栽撒嘅种子咧系产生问题嘅种子啊嘛。You know the Bible talks about how Abraham was able to believe God。嗱，咁咧圣经有讲亚伯拉罕点样去相信神啊嘛。Romans chapter four, verse seventeen through twenty-three. 罗马书咧就四章十七去到二十三节。Says that when Abraham was one hundred years old, the Lord told him he was going to have a child. 当亚伯拉罕一百岁嘅时候咧，神咧就同亚伯拉罕讲：，喂，你会有个仔啊。Let me ask you what would happen if God told you you were going to have a child when you were one hundred. 我问翻你，你一百岁啦，神同你讲：，喂，你会生个 B B 出嚟喎，咁样。Most of us wouldn't want that in the first place. 大部分人，我相信话，喂，我都唔想要啦。We'd rebuke that and say, I don't believe that's God. 诶，跟住话我斥责，我唔相信呢个出于神嘅。But let's just suppose that you wanted a child at a hundred years old. 嗱，不如假设你真系一百岁都会生个 B B 出嚟啦。And if you really wanted to believe and receive this promise, 如果你真系相信嘅话，同埋接收呢个应许嘅话 ，What would you do? 嗱，你会做啲咩咧？ Many of us would go on the internet and find out what's the oldest that any person ever had it gave birth to a child. 大部分人可能就诶，不如上下咧谷歌 Google 啊，睇下咧诶最大年纪生仔个系几多岁先咁样。And we'd go to the doctor and get a physical. 跟住咧为睇下医生做下啲检查啦。And say, am I still able to have children? 跟住问，喂，我系咪仲有能力诶生个仔咧 ？We'd go get our wife checked out. 喂 ，check 下我老婆先。And you know it is.、Uh, Um, Sarah had already been through menopause. 咁其实撒拉已经停咗经噶啦嘛。It was impossible for her to have a child. 如果系诶世界嗰套就冇可能噶啦，再生仔。If Abraham was like us, he would have gone and got her checked out. 如果亚伯拉罕同我哋一样，就话嗌个老婆做下身体检查先啦。And see, is she now healed? 嗱，你见到咧，佢而家诶好翻系嘛？ We would consider all of these negative things. 嗱，我哋咧成日谂呢啲咧负面嘅嘢啊。And then when the doctor tells you, nope, you're too old to have a child. 
但是如果当医生说你太大年纪了,不可以再生孩子了。We would let that seed go into our heart. 跟住我们就容许医生那个种子栽种在我们的心里面。And then we'd get the report back from our wife's physical and say, she's too old to have children. 跟住医生给一个报告,你看看你老婆,我老婆都是太老了,不可以生孩子了。And we would let that seed of doubt be planted in our heart. And then we'd go back and say, God, everybody else says this is impossible. 跟住呢,就是同神讲,喂神啊,所有人都话唔得嘅喎。Are you sure that this is going to happen? 喂神啊,你肯定呢个真系会发生。And the Lord would say, yes. 个神会话,阿神会话,系啊。and then we would start trying to believe God. But see, we would already have these bad seeds producing fruit in our life. Romans 4.18 says, Abraham never thought about his body being dead. Uh, and it says he And it says he never thought about the deadness of Sarah's womb. So Abraham didn't have more faith in us. He had less unbelief because he wasn't on the internet all day. <laughs> we are connected to the doubt and the unbelief of this world like no other generation of Christians has ever been. And the world is constantly sowing bad seed in our heart. And all of these bad seeds are choking out the few seeds that we have from God's Word. If we're really going to be successful, we need to root out all of this bad seed. And we need to quit letting people speak bad seed into our hearts. Isaiah 54:17 says. No weapon formed against you will prosper. And then the very next phrase says, and no tongue that speaks against you can prosper. So uh, the next phrase says that no tongue that rises against you in judgment will succeed. So in one phrase it talks about a weapon, the very next one talks about words. Words are weapons. And when you hear negative words that come against your faith, it starts a battle. How do you win that battle? The very next phrase in Isaiah 54, 17 says, that you have to condemn those words. That means you have to reject those words the moment you hear them. You know, I have a lot of people criticize me. And I'm believing for big things. I have to have hundreds of millions of dollars to fulfill what God has told me to do. And I often have people criticize me and say it'll never happen. 
批评我就话呢样嘢唔会发生噶。Those negative words are like seeds. 嗱呢一啲负面嘅话语咧就系嗰啲负面嘅种子。And I've learned if I will uproot that seed the moment it comes to me, it won't have any power. 我学会咗就系嗰刻呢啲坏嘅种子临到我，即刻连根拔起，拒绝佢咧就唔会伤害到我。But you know we tend to want to not offend people. 但系当然我哋尝试就话唔好去冒犯人啦。And so somebody says something negative to us. 咁咧，当有人同我讲一啲负面嘅嘢嘅时候 ，and we just smile and nod our head. 跟住我哋就对住佢笑，点下头。And then you go home and spend two hours praying to get that unbelief out of you. 跟住你翻屋企要祷告两个钟，拒绝呢啲负面嘅嘢离开你。I've learned that the moment somebody speaks something negative to me, I'll stop them. 我而家学会咗咧，有啲人咧对我讲负面嘢，我即刻停止佢啊。I'll reject it that very moment. 我即刻拒绝啊，就系嗰刻即刻拒绝佢啊。And if I do that, it has no effect on me. 咁咧，因为我咁样做，即刻咧就唔会对我有任何嘅果效啊。So I'll be listening to the news, and they say there's an epidemic going around. 跟住我听呢个诶新闻就话，哇，有啲流行性嘅疾病啊发生紧啊，周遭。And I will immediately quote from Psalms chapter ninety-one. 我即刻咧就引用诗篇九十一篇。No plague is going to come nigh my dwelling. 就喺我呢一度咧，就系冇任何嘅疫病，诶诶呢个病疫咧临到我。They'll say it's flu season. Have you gotten your flu shot yet? 喂，而家系流行性感冒啊！你打咗呢个疫苗未啊 ？And I'll immediately say there is no season for flu in my life. 跟住我话喺我嘅生命里边冇任何流行性感冒噶。And I don't have to get a shot to be prepared. Immune to sickness. 我唔需要打疫苗咧，变得咧免疫啊，唔使啊。So immediately I counter negative words with positive words. 即刻我就点啊？对付呢啲负面嘅嘢咧，变成一个正面嘅嘢。If you were to live this way, most of us could get rid of our television and our internet connection. 嗱，如果你咧会喺呢一个嘅即系诶状态，就话拒绝电视机所讲嘅、互联网所讲嘅嘢咧。Because the vast majority of what you are listening to is negative. Because I have a phone and I have a, a television. But my phone and my television have an on and off switch on them. My phone and my television have an on and off switch on them. And I try to only watch the stuff that builds me up and helps me. 我只系咧尝试去揾嗰啲咧可以建造我嘅，先至睇。You do not have to listen to all of the unbelief that is crammed at us every day。因为你唔尝试可以唔好听嗰啲令到你哋咧，即系塞爆嗰啲负面嘢嘅资讯啊。So your heart just automatically releases the power of whatever seed is sown in your life。咁样咧，你嘅心咧就自动咧就释放咧，系嗰啲好嘅营养咧就俾你嘅种子啦。So we need to sow the seeds of God's word and not the other seeds. 所以我哋要将呢个种子咧系属于神嘅，去栽种喺心土里边。And if we would do this, our life would just change automatically. 如果我哋每个人都系咁做咧，我哋嘅生命咧就自动就会得改变噶啦。I've got a book that's entitled Effortless Change. 咁咧就系我咧就系诶有本书咧就讲系 ever effortless change. 哦 ，effortless 就系。一个改变系摧灰之力啊，唔需要嘥力就会得改变噶。And most people think that's impossible。有啲人话喂唔可能噶。They think change is difficult。佢哋话改变系好难噶。But that's because they're trying to change different than what God's word says。因为佢哋尝试改变咧，做嘅嘢咧系同神讲嘅嘢系唔同啊。The way God's word changes you, you just take the seed of His word and plant it in your heart. Because God, how does God change us? Is just take God's word, this seed, and plant it in our hearts. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. And if you give it time and don't dig it up, you will find it. 如果你真系将神嘅种子嘅话语摆喺个心，俾啲时间佢，你就会得改变，甚至乎去到个地步，你自己都唔知你改咗。God's word will change you automatically。神嘅话语会自动改变你噶啦。
And if we went about change this way, it wouldn't be traumatic. 如果咧，我哋真系咧要去按住呢个圣经所讲嘅咧，就唔会有咁多啲咁戏剧化嘅嘢发生。Now, I don't know if this works the same way here as it does in the United States. But in the United States, an apple tree, it's just its nature to produce apples. It's just the nature of that tree to produce apples. It comes naturally. The tree doesn't shake and groan and yell and then go, oh, an apple. 棵树咧唔系喺度咧，哇，嗌晒咁咧，突然间就折一个苹果出嚟。It just happens naturally. 因为苹果树就好自然就生苹果噶啦。And yet most Christians have to travail and pray and fall on the floor and oh God, please. 咁但系好多基督徒就咧，尝试好努力咁样咧，去哀求啦，去哀哭咧，就主啊唔该。You know why it's so hard for you? You 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 know why And here's another great key in verse 28. 嗱喺二十八节有一个咧好重心嘅嘢要解释。It says first it produces just a little leaf. 佢话首先咧佢就会结出少少嘅叶子。And then it produces a stalk. 然后咧就生个茎出嚟。And then you get the full fruit. 然后咧就会有一结咧成个果子啦。This is showing that there are steps and stages to growth. 嗱呢个讲咩咧？就话咧有次序有步骤噶。God's word doesn't just work instantly. 因为神嘅话语唔系即刻就哇生出嚟，又即刻有嘢发生。It will produce results in stages. 因为个结果咧系按照步骤咧生出嚟嘅。You know, right now our ministry has grown to where we have 520 employees. 啊！而家我哋嘅事工咧有誒 five hundred twenty 五百二十個咧就係員工啊。And my faith has grown so that I can pay these employees. 因為我嘅信心壯大咗，所以咧我可以咧支付佢哋嘅薪水。But if the Lord would have asked me to do what I'm doing now ten years ago, it would have killed me. 如果神而家要我做而家嘅嘢係十年前，我而好似而家咁樣做咧，呢樣嘢對於我嚟講等同殺咗我一樣。I had to grow into doing this。因為我要自己都要成長，進入呢個地步先可以做到今日嘅嘢。And many people just will not tolerate growth。但係好多人咧就唔會咧容忍咧去成長個過程。They're just praying for God to do what they want instantly。佢哋只係祈禱就話：主啊，你即刻咧就改變呢樣嘢啦咁樣。But I told Vivian this here last night when I was praying with her. 我咧为阿 Vivian 咧就系祈祷嘅时候，琴晚咧就咁样讲。I told her, I said, how do you eat an elephant? 我话你点样诶 eat? Eat. Wow, elephant. An elephant. 你点样食一个大象大笨象 ？You can't eat an elephant all at once. 你唔可以吞一个大笨象，即刻吞咗佢嘅。But you can eat an elephant one bite at a time. 你可以慢慢嚼佢。If you try and bite off too much at once, it'll choke you. 你太大啖咧，就逐亲自己。Likewise, you've got to grow in the Lord little by little. 即系话咧，你喺主里边嘅成长都系一步一步啦。And people will often hear a minister talk about the miracles that they are seeing. 咁咧，大部分人聽到咧嗰個咧誒講道者咧，係佢哋講嗰啲神蹟奇事。And they think if God did it for them, He'll do it for me。跟住咧，佢哋就話：喂，神都可以喺佢身上做呢啲，神一樣喺我身上做呢啲。And so you expect to get the same results that it's taken me forty-eight years to get <笑>。你嘗試咧去做我同等嘅神蹟奇事，但係呢樣嘢咧，你以為你即刻做到？但係呢樣嘢我用咗四十八年時間喎。Now it is true that God will do a miracle for you. 嗱，當然係真理嚟嘅，神都喺你身上咧有神蹟奇事。But it will be according to your faith. 但係要按照你嘅信心去做噶嘛。And your faith has to grow in receiving from God. 你要點樣有神蹟奇事經歷咧？首先要信心咧成長，又係接收。And many people make a mistake of just trying to skip these stages of growth. 
。但好多呢基督徒咧犯咗错就话咧跳步啊，偷步。I used to pray all of the time. Oh God, use me. 跟我以前成日都咁样祈祷就哦主啊使用我啊。Matter of fact, these very next verses were very instrumental in my life. 咁咧就系另外下一段咧，对于我嚟讲咧，好有呢一个诶启发性嘅。I can tell you the exact place I was when these verses got planted in my heart. 就系咧，我就去到嗰个地步，就话呢一啲嘅经文咧入咗我个心啊。It was my first week in Vietnam. 诶，嗰个系我第一个礼拜喺越南嘅时候啦。And they were going to send everybody through a gas chamber. 咁咧就係誒去到誒 gas chamber 係咪嗰個咩？係咪毒氣嗰啲啊？佢哋差派啲人去到個毒氣室嗰度啊。And it was to train us how to put on our gas mask and clear them for our protection。咁咧就話去訓練呢啲兵啊，佢哋嗰陣時喺越南打仗啦，應該就話點樣咧喺毒氣嗰度咧生存，戴曬嗰啲防毒罩咁樣。But they had done this to me before in basic training. 咁咧就係話呢啲人一定要有基礎性訓練先至可以做呢樣嘢。And I nearly died。我差唔多死去啊嗰次。It was one of the worst experiences in my life。因為我生命裏邊其中一個最差勁嘅經歷。And when I heard that they were going to have us go through this gas chamber, I was praying, Oh God, help me not to do this。當咧佢哋話要差派我入呢一個咧毒氣室訓練嘅時候，我就求神話：哇，唔好啦，主啊 ！And at breakfast they asked for volunteers。咁咧就係咩食早餐啊？跟住又揾一個義工啊 ！And in the army you learn to never volunteer for anything <笑>。你知道咧喺軍隊裏邊從來你唔會話咧係誒義務式服侍噶。But I hated that gas chamber so much I was going to volunteer for anything。我好憎嗰个毒气室，但系我都愿意咧，就系话自愿咧做个白猪仔咁啊。If they wanted to use me for target practice, that would be better than going through the gas chamber。咁如果佢哋要我嘅话咧，就系我要真系入去呢个毒气室去去做实习。And it turned out what they wanted me to do was just to guard the barracks so that nobody would steal anything。哦、oh, ，最後佢咧要佢做嘅嘢咧就話：，誒、哎、你唔使噶啦，睇住守門口啦，睇住呢一個毒氣室門口啦，所以佢就唔需要佢入去啦。So I just got to lay on my bunk and study the word while everybody else went through the gas chamber。跟住咧佢就好開心啦，佢就哇放鬆曬，跟住咧就係去讀神嘅話語，其他人就入曬毒氣室。And I was reading these exact verses。我當時就真係讀緊就係呢個金句。And in Mark 4:30 through 32, he gave a parable about this seed that was sown. 咁咧就係馬可福音四章三十去到三十幾節啦嚇，佢係講緊呢啲種子點樣係撒種落去嘅土壤。And he was talking specifically about a mustard seed. 佢係講緊咧就係嗰個芥菜嘅種子。And he said the mustard seed is the smallest of all seeds. 佢話種子裏邊芥菜種子咧係最細嘅。But once it's planted in the ground, it becomes this huge tree that stretches out branches all over the earth. 咁咧就系话，当呢个种子撒喺土壤咧，佢生出嚟好大块嘅，可以遮阴嘅叶。So that the birds can come and sit in the branches of this tree. 咁咧就系雀仔都可以咧飞喺嗰啲枝头上咧，然后啦，诶作巢啊咁啊吓。And as I was reading this, I prayed and I said, God, that's what I want to be. 跟住咧就係我喺度祈禱啦，哇神啊，我就想要咁樣樣啊。Spiritually speaking, I want to branch out and reach people all over this world。因為屬靈裏邊咧，我就好想好似個芥菜種子壯大之後咧，去觸摸世界每個角落。And I was praying and asking God for this growth in my life。咁我就喺度祈禱求神咧，就話俾我咧喺靈裏邊咁樣去成長。And the Lord spoke to me really clearly。跟住神好清晰同我講嘢。He says, "If I was to grant your prayer and give you this huge ministry now, 神话咧，如果我真系回应你嘅祈祷，而家即刻俾个咁壮大嘅呢棵树咁嘅事工嚟俾你嘅话 ，He said your roots are about an inch deep. 但系你嘅根系得一寸咁咁多多嘅啫噃。The first bird to land in one branch would knock the whole tree off. 第一个雀仔飞埋嚟咧，跟住你嗰啲其中一个枝茎咧就跌落嚟噶啦。He says the first puff of wind would knock your whole tree over. 咁咧就话呢样嘢咧，哦，风吹跟住点啊？就树就冧啦。OK. So he says, quit focusing on growth. 所以咧，你就要去首先，你要去成长先。
focus on getting God's word rooted in your heart. 首先专注喺神嘅话语咧，扎根先。And once you get the root system, then the growth will come. 当你嘅根扎得实咧，嗰啲壮大嘅枝叶就会生出嚟噶啦。But see, most of us want all of the results. 但系大部分人咧，只系想要答案。And we forget the root that produces the results. 但我哋忘记咗呢个根咧，就会去产生呢个咧结果。So this just was a major turning point in my life. 所以呢一个咧系我生命嘅转捩点啊。And I don't have to say, well, let me go find my notes and see if I can remember what God said to me. But I don't need to say, ah, check my notes, see if God said something to me. I don't remember. This word began to burn in my heart. Because this word, 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 this word I was reading the word a minimum of ten hours a day. Wow, he 咧就每日咧至少用十个钟咧睇就圣经啊。And sometimes I'd spend fifteen to eighteen hours a day studying the word. 有阵时咧我读神嘅话语咧每日用十五至十八个钟嘅时间。And when I came out of Vietnam, I was different. 当我咧系离开咗越南之后，我成个人都唔同咗。I was a Baptist when I went to Vietnam, and when I came out, I wasn't. 咁咧係越南之前咧，我係浸信會嘅，但係咧越南之後咧就唔係啦。And I didn't try and change。我唔係嘗試去改變。When I got out of Vietnam, I went back to the Baptist church。咁咧就係我完咗越南，我都要翻翻去浸信會啊嘛。And they told me you aren't a Baptist anymore。跟住啲會友就話：，喂，你都唔係浸信會。浸信會會有喎，而家唔係啦。And they told me to leave and get out of their church。跟住佢哋話：，喂，你唔該，你離開呢間教會啊。I didn't mean to do that。喂，其實我唔係想刻意咁做喎。But I just put God's word in my heart。我只係將神嘅話語咧擺個心裏邊啊。And I came out believing in healing。跟住我出咗嚟之後咧，我就相信咗醫治呢個神嘅。The Baptists didn't believe in healing。因為其他人唔相信醫治啊嘛。I came out believing in the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues. 我開始咧，越南出咗嚟咧，我相信咧就聖靈嘅靈浸，同埋咧講方言。And the Baptists didn't believe in that. 而咧浸信會係唔相信呢啲嘢噶。But the Word of God just changed my heart. 但係神嘅話語就改變咗我嘅心。And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, that the same thing will work for you. 嗱，弟兄姊妹啊，同樣嘅嘢喺你身上都會應用得到噶。There is nobody in here who's bad ground. 嗱喺呢一度冇人咧话你嘅心土咧系一个唔好嘅土壤啊。God made your heart that it will just release the power that's in whatever seed is sown. 就系话咧，神咧就会喺你嘅心里边咧释放个大能，就算咩种子入到去都好。You aren't bad ground. You just have sown bad seed. 如果你咧就系话，喂，我咧就系撒咗坏嘅种诶种子，你个土壤就系坏啦。If any person in here was to spend ten hours a day for thirteen months in the Word, it'd change you. 如果每个人呢度一日用十个钟睇圣经，十三个月咧，你一样可以生命得改变啊。And I know some of you think, well, I've got a job. I can't do that. 有啲人话，喂，我要翻工喎，做唔到啊。You know, you can be meditating in the Word day and night. 咁咧，但系咧，昼夜你可以思想神嘅话语噶嘛。Did you know the same part of you that worries is the same part that meditates? 你知唔知道咧？你里边嘅担忧咧，就等同你默想嘅嗰部分啊。Worry is nothing but meditation on fear. 咁咧就系担心系冇用嘅。你要咧就默想，你就唔好去担心啦。You can go to your job and worry all day long. 咁咧，你就系可以好担心，成日喺度翻工都可以好担心。Well, you can go to your job and you can meditate in the Word of God all day long. 咁咧，你去翻工，你一样可以咧，就有默想神嘅话语嘅时候。But you can't do it with earbuds in, listening to. 超越同我以前嘅比较咧，好大嘅分别。I would not be in Hong Kong today if I had not received the Holy Spirit. 今日我唔会喺香港，如果我从来冇接收圣灵嘅充满。This totally changed my life. 因为呢个咧彻底咧系改变咗我嘅生命。And I want to give everyone here the same opportunity to receive this gift of the Holy Spirit. 诶，今日咧，我想咧俾每一个人咧有机会咧去接收圣灵啊。
So is there anyone here today who does not speak in tongues and you would like to pray and receive this gift from God? If that's you, I'd like you to raise your hand so I can pray for you. We've got hands down here and up in the balcony. So I would like to ask you if you raised your hand or if you were supposed to raise your hand and didn't do it, just come forward and let me pray for you. Right Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say that if you don't speak in tongues, you should come down here. And somebody might be thinking, well, I don't know about all of this. I'm not sure that this is correct. Well, if you aren't sure, you ought to trust somebody who is sure. I am positive that you need this baptism of the Holy Spirit. And somebody might say, well, they don't preach this in my church. That's the reason I'm not in your church. <laughs> but this is what I preach, and it's the truth. Plus, I'm going to give you a free book if you come down here. Now, is anybody getting up and coming just because you get a free book? I tell you, this is going to change your life. All right, before I can pray for you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you first of all have to receive Jesus as your personal Savior. The Bible says Jesus is the one who gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. So you have to receive the person who is the giver before you receive the gift he gives. So is there anyone down here who has never made a real commitment of your life to Jesus as your personal Savior? If you haven't done that, I need to pray with you first. Raise your hand. If that's you. Anybody else? Okay. Are you sure that you were born again? If you were to die right now, would you go to heaven or do you just hope that you would go to heaven? The Bible says when you get born again, you have a witness in yourself. And you know that you have passed from death unto life. So is there anybody who's not sure and you want to make sure by praying and just praying this prayer? So raise your hands again. Here's three, four, anyone else? Five, six, seven. Okay, I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And I want you to repeat these words after me. This is not a magic prayer. It's not like if you just say these words, it automatically works. The Bible says you have to believe it in your heart. But if you will pray with me and believe in your heart, you're going to be saved. Isn't that a good deal? 
Jesus has already paid for your sins. You don't have to wonder, will he forgive me? He has already forgiven you. All you have to do is receive it by making Jesus your Lord. So I'd like to ask everyone in here to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I'm sorry for my sins. I believe that you have already paid for my sins. And I receive that forgiveness. Jesus, I make you the Lord of my life. I believe that you now live in me. I am saved and forgiven. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? You believe that? Amen. Welcome Amen. to the family. All right. Now, everybody down here has prayed some prayer similar to that. And the Bible says this makes you the temple of the Holy Spirit. That means that you were created to be a dwelling place for the Holy Spirit. God wouldn't deny giving you the Holy Spirit because you were created for this. The Bible says that God gives the Holy Spirit to all who ask. So we're just going to Pray a simple prayer and ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life. He won't force himself upon you. You have to invite him into your temple. So I'm just going to pray for you. And then with my words, I'm going to release the power of the Holy Spirit to flow through everyone. And after I do that, I want you to quit asking and start thanking God for giving you the Holy Spirit. And then those out there who already have this gift of speaking in tongues, we're going to start praying in tongues. Because the Bible says when you pray in tongues, you're giving thanks to God. So we're going to start thanking God for giving you the Holy Spirit. And when we start speaking in tongues, I want you to quit thanking him in a known language and start thanking him in tongues. You can't speak in tongues in a known language at the same time. So you'll have to quit speaking in your known language and start speaking in tongues. And here's my last instruction before we pray. Some people wait on the Holy Spirit to force them to pray in tongues. They think it's going to be like when you throw up. That you can't stop it, it just comes out. But that's not the way that the gift of tongues is. It's more like when I preach today. I ask God to speak through me. But he didn't make me say what I said. If I would have just opened my mouth and waited on him to make it talk, you still wouldn't have heard a word. 
逼你，令到你讲啲嘢咧冇嘢发生噶。It was me that talked。系你啊，系我去讲嘢啊。That's the reason it came out in Texan。所以咧就系德州人就系咁啊。But I believe God inspired it. 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 I believe He inspires you to pray in tongues. And you have to give voice to it. So I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to release the power of the Holy Spirit. We are going to start thanking God that you receive the Holy Spirit. And when we start speaking in tongues, you speak in tongues. Amen. Amen. So, Father, I thank you for all of my brothers and sisters. Father, we thank you for all of my brothers and sisters. Thank you for these seven who prayed and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. 多谢咧，就系我哋咧，就系为呢啲诶弟兄姊妹祈祷，接收你嘅话语，点样接收圣灵嘅充满。And we believe that we are all now the temple of the Holy Spirit. 我哋相信我哋已经咧系圣灵你嘅居所。So we open up the doors of our temple and invite you in. 打开我哋呢个居所嘅门，我哋话欢迎你啊，圣灵进入我哋。We want your power in our lives. We want this gift of speaking in tongues. 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 And we thank you that we receive. 我哋多谢你，我哋接收你啊，圣灵。Now I want you to put your hands in the air like this. 我而家邀请你咧，举你嘅手啊。Just like if somebody stuck a gun in your back, you go. 好似有人用支枪指住你，你要举手。This is your way of receiving from God. 就系呢呢个你去接收圣灵嘅一种咧表示。And now, those of you who already pray in tongues, let's begin to thank God for what He's done. 嗱，而家嗰啲识讲方言嗰啲咧，开始咧就系去讲方言，去感恩感谢圣灵。And as we pray in tongues, you pray in tongues with us. 咁咧，当咧就系嗱，后边啲人讲方言咧，你哋前排啲人都一齐同我哋讲方言。Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Kibro sendi di dimero rombongo rosindi li bikita rambambro esitele. Rosetara ma poro pandi kala mamrondere bi. Bro esitele belera. Alright, speak out loud. 我哋大声讲。Talk in a language that you don't know. Don't worry about what it sounds like. When a little baby first talks, it doesn't sound like a language. But that father knows what that child is saying. Your heavenly father is listening to your heart. You can't talk in tongues with your mouth closed. Open your mouth and speak. The Bible says when you're praying in tongues, it's your spirit that's praying. It's not your brain. This is different than all other words that you've ever spoken. You're releasing the power of God that's in your spirit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! Hallelujah! Let me have your attention here for just a minute.
Okay, whether you spoke in tongues or not, I believe God gave you the Holy Spirit because He said He would. When I first prayed for this, I didn't speak in tongues immediately. It took me three and a half years. But that's because I was a Baptist. And I'd been told that this was of the devil. So I had some confusion and some fear about it. But I stayed with it, got my questions answered, and now I speak in tongues all the time. So I've written all of this in a book. And the first part of this book will talk about what true salvation is. So for these seven who prayed to make Jesus their Lord, it will explain what happened to you. And the second half of the book is all about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And it will help you to understand speaking in tongues. And I've had thousands of people who spoke in tongues after reading this book. So I want to give every one of you a free copy of this book. Because you need to understand what's happened. Even if you felt something right now, it's bigger than what you realize. You need to get these truths from Scripture about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So, how are we giving these books out? Okay, follow Albert to this room Albert, and they're going to give everyone a free book. We want to sow these books into your lives. Hallelujah, let's praise God for these I believe you're going to never be the same again. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hello. <laughs> All right, we have prayer ministers that we are going to have come down here. And I know that there's many people that think that I'm the only one that can pray for you. But did you listen to anything that I said today? It's not me. It's the seed of God's word in my heart. And all of these prayer ministers are people who've sown the seed of God's word in their heart. And they can pray for you and see miracle results. So if you need prayer for anything, I would like to invite you to come forward and let one of our prayer ministers pray with you. If you need prayer, just come forward right now and we are going to release this fruit into your life that came from the word we've planted in our hearts. And for the rest of you, we're going to be back when? 2.30. We'll be back at 2.30. Uh, and I'm going to continue to share things that if you will receive it, will transform your life. So God bless you. We'll see you at 2.30.
Thank you.